Also basically the same amount of potato mixture, flatten in your palm and get, uh, depending on how big you got uh, that tomato, a bit less or more meat, whichever way, I just use a normal table spoon size, squeeze all together. With the meat to make uh, the pelina it's easier because obviously it's firmer it is uh, firmer than when you make it with the cheese cheese is more runnier and what i'm doing i'm just making that longer shape rather than rounded so like i said when it's cooked you know which ones to switch so now I will carry on and make the uh, rest of, uh, of the pelene from all that mixture and then I will uh, carry on from that. Right, all our pelene now is done and the uh, water, like you see, is uh, boiling. What I will do earlier, where we saved some uh, that potato juice, I will pour just a bit that in the water, which has still got some starch in it, and that uh, when we we let again to boil, and when we start cooking the pilling, it's pilling will be much smoother finish rather if you just put them in a boiling water, that will take straight away starch from the pilling, and they will be like not as nice finish basically. And I got uh, two saucepans, like you can see, because we're making two types of tapilame, we have to use two different um, saucepans with the water. Right, I got the uh, now water boiling again. I just put some salt in it because uh, we didn't use much salt anywhere else, so we have to put some in the water. And uh, because the water now is boiling, we will put our tapelene in. You just uh, get them carefully and uh, slide them in. Try not to put uh, on top of each other, so keep uh, changing the place where you put the first one in so they don't stick together. And this one I'm using a uh, meat filled cipollone uh, right, we'll put now cipollone in one saucepan the meat and another one with the cheese put the lid on top and when it uh, starts about to boil you have to just keep swinging a saucepan from side to side just like that so to fill in the water is actually moving where you're not sticking any um, spoon uh, so uh, you're not damaging actually them and uh, they start floating they should not stick together then and the uh, well, the cheese ones would need to do the same but they still not boiling so I leave them a bit alone and uh, when it completely starts to boil you will need to take a lid off and um, turn the heat uh, down and it probably would take about 20 to 25 minutes for the meat uh, filled to pelene to cook and the cheese filled to pelene should be slightly less so I will be back with that uh, a bit later While the pilene is now cooking, we will make a sauce for it. So, uh, using a frying pan, let that to warm up a little bit. And uh, we will put the, that uh, belly pork uh, in it to a nicely brown. So I just have to wait until uh, that uh, frying pan slightly to heat up. 
like you can see as the pelene boiling and uh, they all now like up to the top so uh, you just time to time you can just uh, with the back of the spoon put them slightly down that way they turned around in the water so they're all doing fine and now cheese won't just start to boil now so you have to be quite gentle so you don't uh, make any holes in the sides and all that foam at the top it's just because we use that uh, juice from uh, potatoes while we squeeze it out and it's just a starch in it which foaming up so uh, our frying pan now we uh, getting uh, hot so we get a spoon and just put a uh, made nicely diced in it spread it out you won't need to use any other pan because obviously that is a bit fatty meat so it will release the uh, own uh, So we keep We have our meat now in the frying pan for about maybe two to three minutes cooking, which is nicely sizzling away, it's slightly browning. It still needs cooking a bit longer, but now we will put our diced onion in it so onion can start uh, cooking at the same time. And we just uh, need to keep uh, stirring so this is all nice. Our onions now were nicely softened and brown. Meat also uh, cooked uh, more now. So what we will do now is put some black pepper for seasoning. And uh, you will need some salt, and also you will need uh, two level uh, tablespoons uh, of flour just to make uh, sauce uh, thicker. So you put everything in, mix it. I don't put anything else, it's quite simple sauce because it's plenty flavour there from belly pork and several and they've been with the meat and so we don't need anything else. And then we will pour some milk. We'll use the pint of milk. So pour all that in, stir it. In the meantime, while you make an actual sauce, don't forget also to keep uh, stir at the pelene. And uh, that way you can also check are they about done or not. You will also, good indication is uh, to know that uh, they are about ready when uh, they start slightly splitting, like you can see there, just a bit of cheese is coming out. So, you don't want that's why you have to keep checking them so you don't overcook and they don't uh, split completely and filling will come out and uh, also on some potato uh, with the meat uh, to put in there I saw one nearly started but you know obviously cook them as long as you can so to make sure they are properly cooked so you can see like on this one is uh, slightly starting to split but it's still no danger to coming out filling so I'm leaving them a couple of minutes also now with the sauce you have to keep stirring it so it is all when it starts to boil heat of milk uh, it will start picking up from the flour Uh, our sauce now is boiling, 
and uh, it starts picking up so uh, I will leave just a little bit longer to boil so it actually gets thicker and uh, at Pelini with the cheese now been cooking for about 15 to 17 minutes and uh, I can see they are cooked because I just put one on the plate uh, to show you how they are actually getting splitting so that is ready now I turn them off and uh, Sauce seems all fine, nice and thick enough. So turn the sauce off. And what we have to do, take our tapeline from the water. Don't leave them to stand in it because they will get soggy and uh, split and because they will be still cooking. So best thing is to take them out. Right, now our meat tapeline also are cooked. They've been cooking about uh, 20 to 22 minutes and like you can see they're starting to split so they are definitely cooked. So I'm taking one out on the plate and the same like with the cheese ones, you should not leave them in the water. From all that mixture, what i done uh, earlier, uh, it come out about uh, 15 sepulene, but like you can see they are quite a big size so it just depending how you like it you know you can do smaller bigger if you make them smaller you will need uh, more filling with the same amount of potatoes you know but if you make them bigger you won't use as much filling because obviously you make uh, less of them so they all out and I will get knife and fork and I put them uh, in the heart for you to show it. So if you see nice and soft cheese all nicely sitting in the middle and with our meaty one meat all nicely cooked, juice coming out meat juice from inside so now I will put some sauce that will go with both of them very nicely if you won't want to make that so you could have just some uh, uh, some uh, cream either uh, sweet cream or just uh, sour cream whatever you would like you can experiment with it and to wash all down, you could have some Schweizerese, like we will do tonight. Don't know where it is, but I'm sure we will find it. I think it might be in the fridge. Yeah, found it. That's what we will have tonight. Without a filling, so enjoy yourselves. But look.